Hello everyone, my name is Dominic and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. And I'm here to talk to you guys about counter surveillance. This guide will help make sense of what bug detectors actually are and how they work. I will also go over the reasons why there are so many and how they are not created equal. A bug detector is a general term for a device that will help locate something that may be spying on you. This could be a microphone that listens in, a camera that views your every move, or even a GPS tracker that could be tracking your vehicle. There are many forms of counter surveillance. You have RF detectors, camera lens finders, and signal blocking bags as the main different types. I'm going to talk about each one in order to help guide you to the correct device depending on your needs. First, we have radio frequency detectors or RF detectors for short. These devices pick up on the source of a wireless signal, meaning if you have a device that is transmitting information, this would be able to locate that device. The easiest way to visualize this is to think about how a metal detector works. The closer you are to a piece of metal, the device will beep. This operates the same way, but do keep in mind that it's locating a signal. This could be a wireless camera, a wireless microphone, or even something completely harmless like your radio, TV, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or even your smartphone. This is where RF detectors start to separate themselves and the differences between RF detectors become clear. Higher end RF detectors have the ability to distinguish one signal from another that they are detecting. A really good example of why and how this is useful, say you were doing an RF sweep in a high rise building and the RF detector you are using starts to indicate that there is a strong signal nearby. After some intense searching, you realize it's a Wi-Fi extender from the floor below you that is skewing your results. A higher end RF detector would have told you that the signal it's detecting was actually a Wi-Fi signal, which at that point you would have been able to completely ignore and move on. This feature is extremely useful whenever you cannot control your environment, such as being outdoors to sweep a vehicle, living in an apartment or a condo, or even if you're staying in a hotel. Another thing that you can look out for, which can distinguish ARF detectors from one another, is that a lot of them are coming with multifunction designs. A lot of higher end ARF detectors will have multiple features built right into the same device, so it would have the ability to say, not only detect ARF signals, but produce a white noise to secure a conversation, or even have a magnet detector if you had worries about a GPS tracker. Now, no two RF detectors will have all the same multifunctional use, so it's really up to you to find the features that would help your unique situation the best. To find that, I would recommend watching the videos located on our product pages of our website for all of the counter surveillance products to get the best idea of their features and how they can help you. Really, the last thing that can set RF detectors apart is their detection range. This simply means how many different signals they can detect. You can find this information in the spec sheets or feature section on our website for each product. This is important because if you're looking for a device that transmits a seven gigahertz band and the detector you're using caps out at six gigahertz, the RF detector you're using is literally not gonna be able to detect that signal and you will never be able to locate its source. Up next, we have camera lens locators. This is an extremely basic concept, but it works incredibly well. Essentially what this does is it finds the camera lens by using a flashing light sequence as you look through the viewfinder that's tinted red. What happens is that light refracts off of a camera lens and shines back at you and appears to look like a little dot shining back in your direction. The genius behind this design is the fact that it finds both wired and wireless cameras. Since it finds a camera lens and every camera requires a lens in order to focus, you can literally find any camera with one of these devices. Lastly, we have our signal blocking bag. The intended purpose of this product is to essentially allow no signals in or out of the bag itself. So if you had any worries about your cell phone, for example, it's a perfect fit. As a thank you for reaching the end of the video, feel free to use code YouTube10 at checkout for $10 off your next purchase. And don't forget to like and subscribe for future tutorial videos.